Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the 5 Mexican Guys channel. Today we have uh, again a two guys episode. Uh, we are in Mexico City, it's a Saturday in the morning, it's a perfect time to get some barbacoa. On the back we got a barbacoa restaurant which is kind of mainstream but is one of our favorite barbacoa uh, places to go. Uh, I am Moises. I'm Christian and hello guys, nice to meet you. This is my first my first shot. And yeah, barbacoa it's one of the most uh, typical breakfasts in Mexico. We are on um, the north part of Mexico City. This is a really good place for getting some barbacoa. Barbacoa it's made out of lamb. It's really oily, greasy, delicious. It's really 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 good stuff to eat. Uh, so come with us. You will enjoy it. Okay, guys. So, here we have the Barbacoa main station um, where uh, they uh, take orders to go and orders to eat here. Uh, look at look at that. Look at that amount of Barbacoa, guys. It is just amazing. Okay, guys. So, they are making fresh tortillas here. Always a good sign. Always a good sign. Look at it. They are making fresh tortillas and quesadillas. This is the tortilla machine, guys, uh, which uh, make tortillas in an automated way and saves a lot of work for these girls. So our food has arrived. We got ourselves a little feast for two people here. Uh, we got our consommés. We got uh, the barbacoa pancita, which is the lamb stomach, and uh, well, it really tastes a lot better than it sounds. We got our lamb, uh, green lamb barbacoa, we got guacamole, we got fried barbacoa tacos with fresh cheese and fresh cream, and we got a variety of salsas. Uh, which is really good. We got lime, we got uh, coriander, onions, uh, red salsa, green salsa, and a uh, kind of a drunken sweet salsa. Drunken salsa or salsa borracha, it's called like that because one of its main ingredients is beer. One of the other main ingredients in this salsa is pasilla chilies, which are not very spicy but full with flavor. Tomatoes, uh, garlics, onions, a little bit of orange juice, veggie oil, salt and water are other ingredients too. Okay, so let's start with the barbacoa broth. So this is a very special kind of broth because uh, when the barbacoa is getting cooked in the ground ovens, all the juices and all the sweat find their way into a bowl and that is the main ingredient for uh, making this broth, which is absolutely delicious. So uh, let me uh, get it ready first. I will put some coriander here. I will put onions, some lime, and of course, don't forget about some red salsa. To give it give it some spice to it. Okay, we got it ready. Let's just mix it a little bit and we're ready. So let's try it guys. Mm. This broth surprised me every time I try it. Um, it's greasy, it's salty. You can taste a very pure flavor of lamb in, in this broth and it is just absolutely delicious guys. Uh, take another look at this. So now guys I'm going to start with my, one of my favorites, the lamb stomach. So I'm going to give you a really quick tutorial of how to to fix you a, a, a lamb stomach taco. You grab a little bit of meat. You get it on your tortilla. 
you get some onions there. A little bit of coriander. There. there you go. I'm gonna try the green sauce here. A little bit. Also, we have a extra one guacamole. Just a little bit. And some lemon. It's really important lemon. Ahora, déjame grabarlo antes de que te lo coma. There you go. Tomac, lamb, taco. It's really good. Okay. Let's go for it, man. So, we got it. Okay. It's a really, a really nice mixture of flavors. The lemon, the, the salsa, it's, it's not that hot. It's around mm, five or six out of ten uh, of hotness, the salsa. Um, the taco's really good. It's a really good taco. I think I will give it four, four tacos out of five. Date otra mordidota. Um, I'm gonna bite it again. Oh, yummy. How is it? From 1 to 10, the whole taco. It's around 8. 8? 8.5. So, 8.5. Yeah, I'm. I'm That's a, a taco of excellence. Yeah, it's a, it's a really nice taco. Okay. I love it. Great. Okay, guys, now is my turn to try the fried barbacoa taco. Okay, just a quick explanation. It's a fried tortilla with barbacoa inside, some cheese and some cream on top. Okay, let's go for it. Uh, to get it ready, it's very simple. You just use this mixture of chilies salsa, which is sweet and it has some smoky flavor to it. And that's all we need, guys. So, let's go. The flavor is just amazing, guys. You will never imagine that cream and cheese make such a good uh, combination with barbacoa, but they do. And if you add the, um, the sweetness of the salsa, it's just amazing. Let me get another one, and I will show you a quick trick, guys. So, you grab your taco, you dip it, in the barbacoa broth and then you give it another try so guys we are just about to finish eating but Christian has made a monster taco for himself take a look oh my god um, look at that beauty eh Well guys, this is all for today. Moi, tell us what you think about this barbacoa attack. This barbacoa was absolutely amazing. I will give it a 4.5 out of 5 score for this barbacoa, so it's really good. Guys, uh, we would like to show you how barbacoa is made and how barbacoa is cooked. For that, we will have to travel to Hidalgo, which is like 2 hours away from Mexico City. If you would like us to do that, please uh, say it in the comments below. So Chris, what about the salsas in this place? Salsas were not that spice, so I think I'll give them a 6 point out of 10. This is good because you can eat those salsa because when they are so hot sometimes people don't enjoy their food because of the spiciness of the, of the salsas, no? So I think 
I'll give them a six points out of, of them. Okay, great. So this was a really good day. Guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Show your love for tacos in the comments down below. Take love care. tacos. Take care. Thanks. Bye. Bye.